Here in part 6 of this series I will be completing the detail on the Kingfisher. If you have completed part 5 you will already have the head finished to your satisfaction. If so, you will have a yardstick that will allow you to judge when the detail you're about to paint matches. Painting in detail is a time consuming but rewarding exercise that will not suit everybody. This video is about half an hour long but the painting took me a full working day. Add in the head from part 5 and there is nearly two full days spent on detailing this small bird. The video is necessarily edited and sections of it are shown at three or five times normal speed. I have tried to keep in all the important information to help with your paintings. Much of the brushwork is the same or similar to that used in part five. The colours are the same too, but I will be using some opaque watercolours and designer gouache as you will see later. We will again be painting with small brushes sizes 1 to 4. I have started the detailing by painting a representation of small feathers in a darker tone than the underpainting. For the blue and green feathers on the wings I am using a mix of ultramarine blue and burnt sienna mixed slightly bluish. Avoid trying to paint individual feathers, but keep your brush marks in the directions you see your reference material and keep your brush stroke loose. Most of the larger, more visible feathers on the wing can now be painted individually using the same dark mix. Keeping the reference close and orientating it with the image can help when painting detail.
I used thin ultramarine paint for the feathers on the lighter back of the Kingfisher. Once the feathers have been detailed, I apply light colour wash over the various feather groups. It helps tone them together and soften their look. I used ultramarine for the wing feathers for this. When I am happy with the blue feathers, I turn my attention to the orange ones and detail them as before using a darker mix, this time of burnt sienna mixed with a little ultramarine blue. These darker marks on the orange feathers look a little strong, but the effect will look much softer when the opaque washes are applied later. But first a warm wash of cadmium red along the breast feathers between the lights and darks. Again this is softened with a damp clean brush. When everything has dried I will overpaint all the orange feathers with opaque cadmium orange and opaque cadmium yellow, painting on the orange first.
The brightest lights are made with cadmium yellow and permanent white gouache. Notice how soft and textured these fine breast feathers are starting to look. When I am satisfied with the body feathers, it's time to check the head to see if they both marry up correctly. The orange feathers on the cheeks certainly need brightening up. And some darker marks are needed where the head and body join. While using the dark mix, I add it to some areas to lift the odd feather and define more strongly a feather group. Some more darks were applied around the bird to make some of the feathers pop.
kingfisher's feet are bright red, a cadmium red is good for this. I needed to alter this area as the orange feathers covered the edge of the bird's wing. I decided to lift out a little blue in order to overpaint with some orange later. While in this area I decided to sort out the feathers under the tail and around the feet. I started with a darker burnt sienna ultramarine blue mix to define the shapes. Then softened this with opaque orange mixes to suggest the feathers in the shadow. I decided to put a shadow tone on the tree branch to help get these tones correct. After the darks had improved definition, I will further enhance the texture effects with some lights. This is basically mixes of opaque gouache permanent white with either blue, yellow or orange added as required. The idea of strengthening the darks and the highlights is to increase definition and to make the detail pop. Turning your work as you proceed helps control the brush in awkward areas. Using yellow, orange and white is particularly effective on the orange feathers of this bird. When working your opaque light colours over dark ones, don't paint them too thick. It's better and more subtle to build them up slowly until the required strength is reached. 
I am nearing the end of this process, but it is important to keep working until you reach the desired effect. Use fine brushes and never rush it. I will now let the video run into the end shot with the background music only. Feel free to turn it down or off if you find it irritating. Well, that'll be that for stage six. In stage seven, we will finish the tree branch detail, concluding this mini-series. If you found this video interesting, please subscribe and like. Good luck if you're following the painting, and the final part will follow shortly. Bye for now.